Hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here, back in the studio, and today we have an incredible guest, Mariana Markovic. Thank you very much, <laughs> and you spelled my name right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I try, right, because yeah. the, the Americans, they always say Fraser Brooks, and I'm like, it's Fraser. I don't mind Fraser, but like, it's Fraser. So it's the details, isn't it? It's the, it's detail. the detail, you, you have to rrr. Rrr, yeah. uh, brr. So mine would be Fraser Brooks. <laughs> exactly, right? that's how the Balkan people will call you. <laughs> Exactly. First and foremost, you're incredible. For those of you guys who don't know Mariana, she is absolutely crushing it in her network marketing business. A true unicorn, I would say. Um, so first and foremost, massive congrats on everything that you've achieved. Thank you very much. I'm super excited that we are now neighbors. Everyone who lives in Dubai is a neighbor now. I mean, Basically like, like this. Yeah, yeah, it's been a few months. You've been here two yeah, months? Two months and I love it. Yeah? I love but it. But your first few days were a bit... Crazy, I right? hated it, to yeah. be honest. I was the biggest anti-Dubai yeah. type. So here I am loving and hyping Dubai. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. It feels like as soon as you move to Dubai, you kind of become a salesperson for Dubai. It's yeah. like, oh, you need to come. It's yeah. amazing. It's the best place ever. Anywhere else, you're like, yeah. It's okay. Constantly promoting it. Like yeah. I'm giving discounts for this city. Yeah. We need like affiliate links. <laughs> yeah. We need like some. True that. We should, we should actually ah, potentially. That's a business model. Yeah. I think if, if anyone in the government is watching this, then uh, hook us up because we could, yeah, we, we'll do all right, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so you're crushing it right now. But before network marketing, life was very different. Mm -hmm. what was that story like what were you doing before network marketing kind of like how did you find network marketing what kind of got you interested in it that's uh, a funny story because mm -hmm. i got involved into network marketing mm -hmm. eight years ago so mm -hmm. i was 22 um mm -hmm. today i'm 30 mm -hmm. i can openly talk about my age <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. um yeah how how did i got involved um i was really really shy i did not have any type of social media and then network marketing appeared in my life and was like hmm maybe i should go more outside mm -hmm. so before network marketing i was an engineer construction engineer no that's way. what i did um, my dream was always to build some nice houses and to do plants to yeah create uh, nice things and uh, i got mm -hmm. a great job mm -hmm. and i was like few weeks later, is this how my life is going to look like until mm. I'm retired? Mm -hmm. I was like, there must be more in life. Yeah. And I'm someone who likes freedom. I'm someone who likes um, to create uh, great things. And that's how I jumped into network marketing and it didn't work for me well. Mm -hmm. And then I was anti-network marketing. Ah. A big anti-network marketing. I was the type of person saying, I don't think that this is working this is a scam. Only people at the top are earning. <laughs> so kind of any any anti sentences you get in network marketing, I was telling them. Brilliant. And to be honest, I got involved because mm -hmm. I needed the money. Mm -hmm. I will be honest. Mm -hmm. Openly talking, I needed money. And Me too. yeah. So I started because of five hundred euros. Mm -hmm. And no, we're here. <laughs> now we're here sitting and recording. I love it. So so it's funny because I did construction management oh. in university. Not I didn't go deep into the engineering side. I wasn't smart enough for that. <laughs> but like the management side and when I was going through university, I had a similar emotion that or feeling yeah. that you had. But before I got the job, I was like do I actually want to be building other exactly. people's homes? Exactly. I want to build my own home. Yeah, my I own want to, home. I want to build my own dreams. Yeah. I don't want to build someone else's dream. Exactly. And I found network marketing very fortunately. Well, I was 22 when I got started. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it was kind of cool. I'm not 30 though. I wish I was 30, <laughs> but I'm not. So when you, like, how long were you in that, like, anti-MLM phase for? Like, how long do you feel that you were like, oh, no, don't, network marketing's a scam. It's only the people at the top make all the money. It's a pyramid thing. It's a Ponzi scheme thing. How long um, was that? Around a year. Oh, so you were, yeah. like, heavy for a year. Yes, and when my sponsor was mm -hmm. uh, contacting me, mm -hmm. I was like, do I look like a network marketing type? Mm -hmm. I'm an engineer. My yeah. ego was really high. So, yeah, I was I was a difficult person at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, dear sponsor. <laughs> but uh, We love yeah. you, Sandro. Yeah, I we hope you're you. happy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. one year. So yeah. one year. So, yeah. so you kind of joined Network How long were you in Network Marketing the first time around? Five years. Five years? Yeah. Oh, so you really gave it a go. I really gave it a go and I 
it didn't work for me. I'm not giving the company um, mm -hmm. the fault. No, of course. Uh, of course not. It always depends on my decision, on my mindset, mm -hmm. on how mm -hmm. how bad do I really want it. Mm -hmm. And I had some skills that m I was missing, like thinking like an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. okay. doing uh, really to-dos and tasks. Mm -hmm. I was great at starting things but i was really bad at finishing things mm -hmm. and that's a topic i had to learn right i got involved in my second company and mm -hmm. i was like okay let's give it a try but how it's mm -hmm. going to build mm -hmm. so it's interesting you say that that like the whole entrepreneur thinking yeah because I, I genuinely believe that that is part of the process to success. Yeah, of course. Because you were so ingrained through school, through university, yeah. through family, through friends, get a job, yeah. nine till five, Monday to Friday, live for the weekend. Yeah. So you're conditioned, especially when you're building a net marketing business, you're conditioned, I'm not going to work on the Saturday and Sunday. Exactly. And the hardest part for me was to learn you, you know, there are two different types of mentalities for mm -hmm. me. The one is we get from school until, yeah, we graduate and everything. Mm -hmm. you, we are always used to listen to someone. Mm -hmm. Someone is telling us, do this and do this now. This is the deadline. Mm -hmm. So we're used someone to, yeah, tell us what we are doing. Well said. And then we join network marketing and we're like, hmm, <laughs> I'm my own boss. Uh, I was a really bad boss for myself yeah. i had to learn to give myself topics and also finish them yeah. and i think that's where accountability comes in isn't it i yeah. think like having that upline or having that sideline or even having a team exactly. member where you just buddy up yeah right you just yeah. become become friends you you go to the meetings together yes. you drive back together you yeah. brainstorm together yeah. i think it's important so sandro your upline we love sandro sandro's awesome of course yeah he he's great he's a he's actually the one who got me into these sort of pens nah. and I'm like I'm like it's just a pen but then I start using it I'm like mm, it's not just a pen uh and then you're involved in that you and Sandro have this commonality with it's these fountain pens it's a feeling pens. It's, it's a, a feeling <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know and understand pens, then the whole idea with the, the feeling might not sound quite good, but just go and try a proper pen. Um, I can't believe we're talking about pens, but it's important, right? Because yeah. you and Sandra, you connected through like yeah. your love of pens. Exactly. We so, had we had this um, yeah hobby, let's say like mm -hmm. this. We're collecting mm -hmm. fountain pens. Mm -hmm. We love writing. That was mm -hmm. our first um, contact, mm -hmm. let's say like this. And then he was like, ah, I have something. And I was like, oh, <laughs> No, <laughs> I was I was a big no. Really solid, yeah. hard no. So, this like text. No. Oh really? Yeah. This huge yeah. war and peace. Yes. Like, don't you dare come at me with that. <laughs> exactly. And how did you connect originally? Was it like through Facebook? Was it just you just mm. knew each other because of the social area? media? Social media. Yeah, Instagram. Wow. Yeah. Just because you were posting about pens, he yeah. was posting about pens. Exactly. Just connected. Exactly. Isn't that wild? And some people, so many people are like, oh, I have a passion for pens, but I'm not going to talk about it because maybe it's not liked. It's a niche right? in a niche. It's yeah. a niche in a niche. Yeah. That's for sure. So that's super cool. And I'm glad that you, and you didn't meet, you, you didn't actually meet in person until. No. A few we were months. not able because we were building our business when, you know, yeah. two days uh, two days two yeah. years ago yeah. um the mess the mess yeah the lockdowns and so on mm -hmm. so we were not able to meet people in person we mm -hmm. were not able to travel um mm -hmm. it was really we were really not able to sit on a plane so we were just connecting online that's also how i build my business mostly online mm -hmm. so i would really say like 95 uh, percent happened online in the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, i was already at a high rank mm -hmm. and six months later was the first time we met at the airport in Zurich. And I was like, nice to meet your sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Six months later. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And so, so, okay. So let's talk about the business mm -hmm. that you built. You started two and a half years ago. Exactly. Yeah. Was it, was it January? January 21. Yeah. January 21. How many people are in the team right now? How, how many people have come into the team? up to this stage right now we're 36,000 36,000 people yes have been a part of the team yes in two and a half years let's just from anti-MLM <laughs> and a love of pens yes to 36 that is come on 
I've got to give it there because that is that <laughs> is you. absolutely incredible. How does that make you feel? <sighs> Grateful. Mm-hmm. I think I'm not realizing it until now. Reflecting. I struggle yeah. with that. You, know, you yeah. don't realize until you talk about it where you think, yeah. hang on a minute, that would fill a football stadium. Yes. Uh, every time I speak in front of people and my team, when uh, there is a full room of people, I'm like, mm-hmm. they're all there because of my yes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I have, I have mm-hmm. um, things to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but when you, when you joined... Because you needed the money, right? And yes. I always say that I joined for the money, but I stayed for the person I became and the people that I met. Exactly. Right. I, I think we can all be open and honest that we joined for the money, right? That's uh, the you first know? phase. We don't start yeah. because of love. Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> oh, I really want to just get involved for the sake of getting involved. Like, yeah. no, there's, there's money. What was your kind of income goal when you started? Like, did you have like a goal of like, if I could just make a few thousand a month or 500 a month? It was exactly 518 euros. 518 euros. Yeah. You know why? Because um, I was parking my car somewhere I was not able to. <laughs> then I got a little love letter. And this love letter was saying like, you got to pay 518 euros. And at that moment in my life, I was thinking, okay, do I pay this love letter mm-hmm. or do I pay my bill? Wow. Yeah. I was really at a b- bad moment at this, at this time. So uh-huh. I'm really, real talk. I'm always about real talk. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you remember I told you I was a no. Mm-hmm. And then I was texting my sponsor like, mm, can you send me the link? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, is this really happening? <laughs> He's like, are you sure? Yeah. I'm like, don't ask. Send me the link. So I'm my onboarding. Yeah. He, it was not possible because I was not uh, teachable uh-huh. at this yeah. um, moment. So I just started to get this amount of money. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to choose between the bill and my Mm -hmm. uh, rent Mm -hmm. I had to pay. And then things escalated. It's great. So like, I just want to talk about the 518 euros a month because a lot of people, they just need an extra few hundred. Exactly. Like, especially now, like we have a rental property in the UK and I think the mortgage payment was about 300 pounds a month, right? So like 320 euros, something like that. It's now over 600. So the payment has doubled. So I technically need to find another 300 pounds a month. 518 euros, 300 pounds. What do you do? The network marketing is a a legitimate option. So when you made the 518 euros a month, right? Because you did that fairly quickly, right? You did that that quickly? Two weeks. Two weeks. (laughs) In two weeks, it was done. Did that make you go, okay, I'm definitely not a hard no. I am like all in network marketing. I love it again. I found the passion. Or was it just, no, I've made the money. I've just got to keep making money. Like, what was it? It was the 10th of January, I remember, because I'm writing in my diary, Mm -hmm. uh, documenting every milestone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the 10th of January because I was reading a book Mm -hmm. that was already in my bookshelf for five years, and I didn't touch it. And I was like, oh, let's refresh a bit my knowledge about network marketing. And I read it. And then I have read Mm -hmm. a strategy. And I and I felt like in this moment, you know, when when there's like a click in Mm -hmm. the brain, Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell was I doing? Mm -hmm. Five years? Mm -hmm. Nothing. At that moment, I understood that I understand network marketing as an industry. And I was like, what will happen? If I'm not just talking about products, Mm -hmm. if I'm talking about business, Mm -hmm. and if I'm moving my mouth, giving value to the people and teaching them this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was the day I went all in. It was the 10th of January. And we went from 15 people in the first month to 85 in the second month to 300 in the third month. 15 to 80 to 300. 300. Yeah. Oh, my days. What was that first year like then? What was... What was the income generated in that first year? I know because obviously people in the team made made a lot of money as well. Yeah. But like for you, like was that mind blowing? Because you just wanted to make 50, well, 518 euros a month. I was earning four times more mm-hmm. in my part time business mm-hmm. than on my full time job. As a construction engineer. Yes. <laughs> And people keep t- kept telling me, oh, it's a safe job and don't quit it. I'm like, I'm earning four <laughs> times more part-time. Imagine what will happen if I go all in, give it yeah. 100%. Yeah. 
So it took me six months to really make the decision to go all in. Mm -hmm. um, all in means like quitting my job, mm -hmm. doing full time network marketing. Mm -hmm. I was scared mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because sure. Uh, in my culture in uh, mm -hmm. Bosnia, we they teach us that you need a proper job, you need uh, a good education, and network marketing something you cannot put in your. Um, Mm -hmm. how it's called cv yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not legit yeah it's going to be a blank spot in your <laughs> cv i'm like uh, if i tell the people that i lead a team of thirty six thousand, every yeah. company will take me yeah 100 percent. every company and, and it's funny as well because the skills that you de develop from the network marketing business you never lose yeah. so if something ever happened you could you know with your confidence and your energy that you could you could build it again anyway. anyway. So like you become unemployable. Yes. So even though a company would be super lucky and fortunate to have you, it's like, to be honest, it doesn't matter because I'm confident with my skills because <laughs> yes. you just build them every single day. Yeah. What was, when you went from, I'm curious about this, when you went from part-time to full-time, mm -hmm. did you feel that you went from part-time to full-time? Oh. Or, was, or was, it like, was it like, oh, I have 20 hours a week that I can just kind of go get massage and go go shopping and <laughs> just kind of wake up at 11 a.m. and just do this and do that or was it like right now it's game on now like how how was that because I think for many people especially when they jump too soon mm. they kind of just like okay so what am I doing today yeah and they have no idea yeah and they actually don't be productive exactly mm -hmm. I was scared mm -hmm. I had massive of anxiety mm -hmm. in my in my body. I was like, okay, now you were building your business part time. Let's say I was investing 20, 30 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, disclaimer: I was really working um, a lot, even part time. Mm -hmm. um, people always uh, tend to see just the uh, top of the ice yeah, yeah, mountain, yeah. but not mm -hmm. what it's um, beneath. Mm -hmm. So it takes work, of course. And when I went from part time to full time. I was overwhelmed. Mm. I was like, okay, I have eight to 10 hours more to fill it mm -hmm. in a productive way. And it, really is what, it was hard for me because most of my team partners were still building their business part-time. So my meetings would start afternoon. Yeah. So I had this free time, but yeah. was not able to fill it with meetings because my people were working, right. of course. Mm -hmm. So I was like thinking, okay, there are two possibilities. Either you relax or you fill it with topics and doings that will scale your business up. Mm -hmm. And I choose the second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> choose the second, and I was um, I was overwhelmed, to be honest. Yeah. It took me two months to realize that it's also okay to slow down a bit, that yeah. it's okay to have your time in the morning. And uh, it took me also some time to prioritize the right things. Mm -hmm. And I was always writing my to-do list mm -hmm. every day yeah. until now I'm documenting yeah. it on also social media yeah. and I ask myself is this task bringing me closer to my goal Love or that. not mm -hmm. and if I see someone on in my team like doing laundry going groceries <laughs> I'm like dude that's not going to bring you money so yeah. this is a second to-do list yeah <laughs> it's not on your business to-do list <laughs> so you basically need two to-do lists so it's funny you say that so I have a friend who, as we all have friends, I don't know why, I have a friend. Uh, so I have a friend who wanted Richard Branson to speak at his event. Like he really wanted to Richard Branson at his event. So he contacted someone who he knew and they put him in contact with an assistant. Probably an assistant of an assistant of an assistant of an assistant of an assistant, <laughs> right? So he said, hey, we've got this event coming up. There's going to be thousands of people, all entrepreneurs. We want Richard at the event. So Richard at the event. And she comes back and says, can't do it. He's he's busy. He said, oh, what what date is he free? We'll do it the next weekend or the next year or the next month. We just want him. He said, oh, well, I'll check. Oh, he hasn't got very much availability. So my friend goes, blank check. Just name the price and we'll pay it because we want him there. She ends up coming back and saying, saying that, listen, so Richard Branson has a list of three things that he wants to accomplish every year. And if the thing is... If the thing he has to do does not take him closer to mm -hmm. one of these three things, he just says no, yeah. no matter what the price, because yeah. his goal is worth way more than what you could ever afford. Exactly. And I was like, that's so simple, but so powerful. And I wish we, we more of us did that. Yeah. So I love following you. I've really closely been following you the last probably two, maybe three months. 
which has been amazing. You, you moved to Dubai and that's pretty much when I started following yeah. you. I don't know the algorithms, but Sandro mentioned you and I was like, all right, cool, I'm going to follow. And there's one thing that I absolutely flipping love that you do that I want everyone to do in network marketing. And you mentioned it. And you have a, a book similar to this one. Exactly. Right? You have a pen that's far more significant than this <laughs> one. <laughs> Tr trust me, <laughs> far more significant, not just because of the pen itself, but the, because of the meaning behind the gift that you get, you got given. And you, well, tell me, what do you, like, how's that work? Because I want to do the same thing. But my writing is not as good as yours. <laughs> and it looks so pretty and beautiful and you document it in such a good way. How... How does this like? How does this happen? You just wake up and you're like writing it down, <laughs> like as you can't see, or like how is that process? Um, I'm writing to do lists since I'm a little kid. Mm -hmm. My mom learned me this, mm -hmm. and uh, when I was at school, I was writing my to do list on this yellow little post its. Yeah, the ones you can stick on. Yes. The, yeah. So this was my beginning of uh, doing to-do lists. And <laughs> in the beginning, because, uh, yeah, no business, of course, uh, there were different things on it. And then when I started uh, in my business, I was like, okay, let's let's document my doings. Mm -hmm. It was more like um, a marketing thing mm -hmm. because I wanted that people start to be curious. Uh, what is she doing? What is this NVM meeting? Yeah. What is this five times five strategy she's writing <laughs> every day in, in her um, diary? And it worked. Mm -hmm. People started asking me, you have every day these NVM meetings. What is it? Oh, I'm like, oh, it's a little thing I started. <laughs> so I, I was not answering straight away. So it mm -hmm. was like a little marketing um, thing on social media. And uh, that's how I also got involved some people because they were curious, um, what mm -hmm. are you doing there, mm -hmm. uh, writing every day? Mm -hmm. And it started to motivate people. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the power behind it, sharing my daily to-dos today with my team. Because if I want them to stay on track, I have to be on track. If mm -hmm. I want them to be successful in their business, I have to do the first steps. Mm -hmm. My sponsor says it's like going through a jungle with, a, yeah. with the, the mahit and... Uh -huh. um, yeah, mm -hmm. just um, going the way first. Yeah. You ahead. get the cuts and the bruises, yes. but then it's easier for exactly. the rest of the team. And I want to also to document uh, that my team sees what daily things I do, what mm -hmm. is um, what what things I do, what kind of meetings I have mm -hmm. to live in Dubai now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love to. I'm documenting it two years now. Two years. And some things never changed. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. some things never changed, and something that works, I'm not mm -hmm. changing. It's, ama it's amazing and it, it's fun, I think, as well. I, I'm going to start implementing something similar. I haven't got the discipline necessarily to document it writing because I haven't got the passion for mm. the pen. Oh, and this it, will it, come. But no this worry. is coming, right? Yeah, I, I've yeah. already you spoke. need the right pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to France, so I'm thinking like, <laughs> I'm going to Paris, so I'm thinking maybe I will, uh, yeah, I haven't got a gift or a milestone for the for the, the baby yet, so I'm thinking oh, it could be something nice to give, give to her. Um, it's also very impressive when you meet someone who can write well, right? It's just it's just a cool skill to have. But I, I can imagine that the list of things when you're beginning is quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But when you give it two or three, four, five more years, you might have a more strategic list that's shorter yeah. that is just like, I want that list. Yes. Um, but what I love, and again, for the, for the people listening in, is you literally just put the date. All your things to do. Sometimes, I think mean, today, I think there was three things because yeah. we're here and you've got it. You're going back to Europe and stuff. But then a lot of the times, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Yes. And then you put like a little quote, quote like a little reminder, or like end yeah. of the month minus three. Yes. So I'm following you closely. <laughs> I see. Like I'm, I'm, fo I'm following every single one. And I love the idea. Imagine if our grandparents did that mm. and we could go and go, what were they doing yes. in 1952? Yeah. And they're like, dun, 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 yeah. dun. how incredible would that be just to read through? Yeah. Not because I struggle to journal. Mm. Like I struggle to write a journal. I've done it a few times mm. for a long period of time, but not not too long. But that is such a great way for people who struggle to sit down and journal. Yes. Do you journal as well or do you just do the things to do? I journal since my 11th year so i have many many journals wow uh, the first ones were pink and fluffy yeah, of course of course of course <laughs> and then uh, i yeah <laughs> now i have uh, beautiful black uh, notebooks mm -hmm. um, still today mm -hmm. yesterday i was 
journaling for two hours Whoa. because I sat down with a drink and I was documenting my first two months in Dubai. Yeah. Wow. And it's something, you know, sometimes I travel back. I love mm -hmm. time traveling. Mm -hmm. And then I take my notebooks mm -hmm. like two or five years ago and then I check uh, the date if it's not exactly the same date. So I, mm -hmm. I like to travel back to the yeah. month and see what was my mindset back then, what mm. were my problems back then. That. And uh, that's a great way to reflect. It's the cheapest therapist you will find. <laughs> yeah, Depends on uh, what fountain pen you have, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's... Uh, yeah. It depends, that's what I'm saying. But it's a great way to see how you grow as a person. But sometimes mm -hmm. we get lost a bit in this success thing and always reaching for top ranks, top ranks, top ranks, and you forget um, yeah. what how, how amazing the journey was. Mm -hmm. And you forget how many things you build up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we reach a goal and then we're happy for the moment and then we lose the happiness. And mm -hmm. then, okay, more and more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love traveling back in time to see, mm -hmm. okay, I'm on a good track. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I laugh about the problems I had. Yeah, like the challenges then. are different yeah, now. Yeah, and like today, like, okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's... So basically I'm journaling, yeah. It's it's a kind of discipline, mm -hmm. like going to gym. It's funny, right? Because we at home, me and Satlana, we have this kind of rule. That, and it's, it's, a, it's a quote that's become popular over the years because of social media. I've used it a long time, and especially since being with Satlana, but it's don't spend more than five minutes worrying about something if yeah. it doesn't matter in five years from yeah. now. And it's funny that, like, I'm thinking about the challenges that I went through 10 years ago, yeah. and now I'd just be like, that's yeah. not a challenge. Yeah. That's just part of the day. So let's talk about your strategy, because to be able to go from zero to 36,000 people in two and a half years after being an anti mlm -er, <laughs> it wasn't like you had this huge list of network marketing contacts, mm -mm. right? It was just, you just crushed it. And I say that you're a unicorn because I want people to know it's possible but you've worked your ass off yes. with the right people to to be where you are. And I, I applaud you for that. Massive congratulations. You you also messaged me the other day that you'd hit a really big milestone. We don't have to share what it is, but I'm very proud of you. And congratulations you. for that as well, because very few people as a percentage, a little percentage get to that. And uh, to do it in two and a half years, nuts. <laughs> so what's the strategy? What do you do with your team that's allowed you to multiply and accelerate at the speed that you have? Yeah. Many people ask me mm -hmm. this kind of question and uh, they somehow expect me to send like a book of <laughs> tips. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, all I do is write one sentence. Mm -hmm. Because network marketing mm -hmm. should be simple mm -hmm. and fun. Mm -hmm. That's it's not right. rocket science. Yeah. Most of the people make rocket science out of uh, network marketing. They complicate uh, things. They do a process in a process in a process in a process. Yeah. And then, then they get then they get lost mm -hmm. and most of the people don't understand the industry mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. so my strategy is mm -hmm. so simple mm -hmm. that you can take a tissue a pen <laughs> yeah. and explain it in 10 minutes to a person mm -hmm. it's the five times five strategy mm -hmm. from don faila credits mm -hmm. to him yeah. um he i can really say he changed my life mm -hmm. i was reading that book and then i took a blank paper, I was calculating two times two, three times three, mm -hmm. five times five. Okay, and if my people do this and we sell mm -hmm. this and then I'm like, oh my God, I will reach a top rank. Yeah, yeah. Five get five, get five, get five, get five. Five right? gets five. Um, find, to be honest, finding five people mm -hmm. over a period of time, it's not hard. Right. It's a matter of consistency. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying that you stop after five. Disclaimer, five people mm -hmm. who get it. Yeah. And if it takes two months, great. If it takes two years, great. Because the outcome at the end of the calculation is great. Mm -hmm. And we know numbers are not lying. Yeah, right. So I was trusting the numbers. <laughs> and um, what I did, I switched from the mindset and mentality of a salesperson to a business person. Mm -hmm. nice. So in the beginning, I was talking just about the product. Mm -hmm. And turning a client into a business partner is a longer time of period. It's more hard. People say, yeah, I'm not a salesperson. I'm not good at selling. Mm -hmm. Why? Because our first approach was selling. Mm -hmm. 
And then I was like, everyone needs some extra money, mm -hmm. obviously. I, I asked people, do you mind if I give you 200 euros? And they're like, oh yeah, oh great, so you need money, yes. No one saying no if it comes to money, mm -hmm. let's be honest. So what I teach my people is um, not to start talking about the product itself. They should start talking about the business opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because if someone understands in 10 minutes network marketing with this simple strategy, with this simple calculation, then the product is like the cherry on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a pen. Mm -hmm. I will join because I love, I freaking love network marketing. <laughs> it could be a totally different product. I will join because I love network marketing. Mm -hmm. So what we started was always starting the process with talking about the business, no matter what the approach is. We talk first about the business, network marketing, ask the person, do you understand my industry now? Do you know what network marketing really is? And if the answer is yes, I continue with the company presentation, do a mm -hmm. proper follow-up, mm -hmm. and that's it. These three steps we do. Yeah, it's it's amazing because one of the f one of the most fundamental things to talk about is what do I actually have to do? Yes, because a lot of people don't. They they start with like, uh, "Hey, welcome to the presentation." And our company is founded in 1924 <laughs> by Dr. Stevenson, involving yeah. gratings of the unicorn horn. Da -da 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 -da. And people are like, "Great, I don't care." Yeah, what do what exactly. do I actually have to do? Yeah. and I think when you lead with the business as well, like people actually don't even care what the product is as yeah. long as you share the kind of profession, what they actually did, find someone on social media, see if they're open, get them to watch a video. That's the system. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. Well, the product is. Exactly. Like, yeah. As you say, cherry on the top. It's the cherry on the top. Exactly. And it, was it the 45 second presentation? Yes. That was the book from yeah. Don Felia, right? Yeah. I really recommend it to everyone to read it. It's incredible. It's even part of our onboarding process. Brilliant. So, um, we have a process, um, we call it road to business partner. So mm -hmm. basically from prospect to business partner, we have some simple steps mm -hmm. to follow. And this book is part of this onboarding process. And I tell you, mm -hmm. everyone on my team mm -hmm. who reads the book, who understands the five times five strategy is crushing it. Mm -hmm. And there are many people crushing it. Yeah, yeah. So so they're locked in on like, I've, I've got to get my five. Yeah. And, but when they get their five, by the time they've got their five, two, two might have vanished. Yes. Quit. Yeah. Ghosted. Yeah. Disappeared. So then it's, I've got to get yes. another two. And Just then by repeat, that time, repeat the process, repeat the process. It's funny because if you go back in like to the old school training, like the real old school trainings, they say like the definition of a successful, strong business is having five leaders in five legs. Mm -hmm. But like a leader is like, if you're not there, they're doing it. Yeah. Like you're their upline, but they don't need you. They love you. They applaud you. They yeah. congratulate you. They're there for you, but they don't need you anymore. So, and it's funny because that come fits into the five by five. Mm. You have your five lines, legs, whatever the terminology is, people different use. And then you've got five lines down. Yes. If some leaders in there, if they come on the seventh level, eighth level, ninth level, 10th level, amazing. Great. Yeah. Great. But not everyone is going to, people are locked in on your five by five. Yes. But the reality is not everyone is going to. The, is of going to course. The reality is um, totally different, mm -hmm. but um Numbers are not lying. Yeah. So if you get your five leaders through mm -hmm. the time, and sometimes you think you find a leader, mm -hmm. and it's not. Yeah. I always say there's a difference mm -hmm. difference between a rank mm -hmm. and a leader. 100%. You have to bring these two things together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really happy to have my strong foundation, mm -hmm. my top 10 mm -hmm. leaders. I call them my dream team. Mm -hmm. Big credit shout to them. Shout out. Yeah, shout really. out to the dream team. I love you guys, really. <laughs> Um, you need to build a strong foundation. If you build just on a thin foundation, right. mm -hmm. can you build a Burj Khalifa mm -hmm. on top of it? <laughs> no. no. So it will have some cracks. Yeah. So basically the five times five strategy teaches us that we go also not mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. also to go more deep. Yeah. You need to build, this is now the construction side mm -hmm. of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it, I, I get it. <laughs> you need to build a strong foundation also in mm -hmm. the depth. Yeah. And then you can build any building mm -hmm. you want on top of it. They say that width is for show. Mm -hmm. I'm a recruiter. Yeah. Depth is for dough. Exactly. Right? Because that's, that's where it is. And it's funny as well. I, I used to do this demonstration with a piece of paper that if I held it up, 
if the fire is at the top, no one else gets a benefit. And if the fire is at the top, the flame goes because mm-hmm. it, it, it can't go anywhere. It just dies out. But if you put the fire at the bottom, you work with the top, but then you encourage pe- more people. You put the fire at the bottom, the whole organization we'll goes up in goes up in fr- goes up in flames. You have a strong foundation with the leadership, yeah. But then everyone's on the same mission, five by five, five exactly. by five. Exactly. Has anyone been defiant? Has anyone been like, no, I'm not getting five? Like, mm, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I always love to ask lots of questions the a big thing i see in network marketing is that um, some of the people and recruiters are just being interesting and not interested yeah so they're just about their goals what do they want and they're not about the people so i love to ask after i have presented everything i love to ask what do you like most of Mm -hmm. everything i have just shown you and then I'm like, yeah, you know, I like the sales part. I like the network marketing part. And this information is inf- important for me. Why? Why should I push, sh- push push someone into network marketing if he wants to be a great salesperson? And if one, someone wants to be a great salesperson, I will do everything what's needed to make you the best salesperson. And mm-hmm. I will not push you to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, you have to read. You have to read it. Yeah. And uh, if a person say, yeah, I like this uh, passive income thing with network marketing, I'm like, okay, Th- mm-hmm. these are two different onboarding onboarding mm-hmm. processes for me. Mm-hmm. And I let the people choose. You tell mm-hmm. me what you want. I show you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. One thing I love about your team, and I haven't got to know your team yet, but uh, we're going to see them real soon in yes. Paris. It's going to be super fun. Is we got to hang out and uh, on the beach, JBR. We went on the beach. We were having like a serious meeting. I feel like <laughs> people are just imagining us just sunning ourselves, going, "Hey, you're crushing it. Well done. Oh, you too. Well done." We were having a, a, a great, a great conversation, a great chat for a few hours, and we took a selfie. You posted it, and your team went nuts. Mm-hmm. I got tagged in about 30 or 40, probably even more than that, 30 or 40 that I saw. Like, my mentor is with this guy and da 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 I'm like, what? Like, what is this business? Like, what have you done for this? Yeah. So talk about those guys. Like, talk about the team. Like, obviously, you love them. I can see the smile on your face. Yeah. It's like a natural, just like, you're just proud of them. Like, how have you been able to build that community to a level everyone just you're you're having fun you're enjoying yourself and everyone's just like they're promoting your Mm. like your lifestyle and your success that's not that's not common (laughs) but i think i think you guys tuning in have probably realized that this is not just a normal conversation here um how like what have you what do you feel that you've done to build that do you speak to them every single day is there like zoom calls going every three minutes of the day is it like are you going on holiday to get like What's happened? How have you built that? Because it's all mainly online, right? Yeah, it was mainly Especially online. in COVID. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a really, really strong team culture. Mm-hmm. One thing, because, you know, this is my second mm. second time in a network marketing company. I had some mm-hmm. bad, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, bad situations also, mm-hmm. which I learned from. Apprenticeship. Right? Yes. Like a learning experience. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And the worst part about this journey for me personally was when I felt like a number. Yeah. Like I'm only interesting if people see benefits from me. Mm -hmm. So they're good with me as long as I make great numbers. And that's a fact and that's a feeling I wish no one to ever feel. So when I started building my team, I was like, I want everyone to feel seen. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to crush their goals, no matter how big, how big or how small are are they. Mm -hmm. So that's why I also ask the people, what is your goal? What amount of money would make a major impact? Mm -hmm. 200 euros, great. Amazing. 2000 euros, great. 20,000, great. There is no difference for me in giving people um, help, on the mm-hmm. amount they tell me. Mm-hmm. So we have a really strong team culture when it comes to this. We have strong values. Mm-hmm. One of them is people over profit. Great. I love that one. So, and this is so, it's like in our DNA, mm-hmm. really. So we teach um, our team members freshly from the beginning, it's part of our onboarding process, what our values are. Mm-hmm. And we tell also our expectations. 
So I ask them, what do you expect from me as, an, as a sponsor? What do you want from me? Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, support do you want? Do you want me to talk every day to you or just once in a week? Do you want to do a follow-up every two weeks, online, offline? Mm -hmm. What is your style of support? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to be pushy. But if you need someone who pushes you, I will do it. Just yeah. tell me. Yeah. Give me like the yeah, <laughs> ticket, yeah, yeah, yeah. ticket to go. <laughs> the permissions. The uh, permissions, yeah. yeah. And one thing I have learned and discovered also in a book is that um, we as uh, people have different types of love language. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. basically... I love the love languages. Yes. So, so, wait, what are you, 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 you share what they are. Yeah. I will ask the guys what they are <laughs> and I'll share what I am. <laughs> so basically mm -hmm. like uh, quality time, mm -hmm. physical touch, acts of service, um, what else do we Words have? Of a five, a Words of affirmation and yeah. gifts giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I was reading that book because I was like, oh, let's maybe work also on this uh, topic <laughs> <laughs> in my life. It's really good. Yeah, it's really powerful. Five love languages. I don't know who. Do you know who it's by? No, the author. But five love languages. Every single person wanting a relationship yeah. in a relationship absolutely needs to read that. Yes. You will have conversations for hours about it. Exactly. And I was reading that book. And I was like, hmm. This could also work in business. 100%. And then I started to see what are, what is the love language of my team, of my first lines, of my leaders. And some of them I knew already because mm -hmm. uh, people show you their love language anyways. Mm -hmm. They show you um, by how they want to spend time with you. Mm -hmm. And then there were some people I was not sure and I was actively asking, what is making you happy? Mm -hmm. And then I discovered, okay, this leader likes acts of service. This one likes mm -hmm. gift. This one mm -hmm. likes quality time. Yeah. And I really, really do this. Yeah. If my team loves quality time, I will plan quality time with mm -hmm. them. Quality time means really sitting, mm -hmm. no phone, yeah. just being present. Conversation, yeah. A conversation, yeah. And then there are people who love gifts. Okay, reach your tank, uh, top rank, you will get a gift. Yeah. But I have to know it. Yeah. And this is something also we teach in the depth. Mm -hmm. So you have to know what your people like. Mm -hmm. You have to know the support system they want. Mm -hmm. So you have to ask many questions. Mm -hmm. And if you know everything about your person, they will be happy. Mm -hmm. And I have leaders in my team. I have people in my team who are earning 200, 300 euros for two years and they're still there. They love it. Yeah, they love it. They love the community. They, they love everything about our team. Imagine if Sandro, shout out to Sandro, by the way. We, we love Sandro. Um, imagine if he had a conversation with himself after he got you in and you said, I need to make 518 euros a month. Imagine if he'd gone, Yeah. she only wants to make 518 euros a month. Yeah. Like I'm looking for people who want to make 50 grand a month. Yes. Imagine if he felt that way. Mm. Fortunately, he didn't. But there are people out there who want you to succeed yeah. more than you actually want to succeed. They only want to, yeah. I just want to be a part of the community, make a couple of hundred euros a month. So you love them where, where you're at. Um, and I love that you said that because the people over profits, it's easy to say that. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to implement it mm -hmm. because you just think, good example, you sign someone up, you get an email, congratulations, you got a team member. How do you celebrate? The majority are like, yes, get in, ticket to freedom. And that's that's great, right? Celebrate that way. But then they put that enthusiasm onto their new pairs. I'm so excited for you. So the top rank is, is, is diamond and you're going to absolutely smash that. And they're like, oh, when do I tell them that I only wanted to make 200 euros a month? And exactly. And not let them down by doing that. So it's a problem. What is your love language? What do you think? Ah, it's, I'm, I'm going to go quality time with yes. the right, with the right person. Cause you're introverted like me. Yeah. So like if quality time with a massive extrovert is like. It's draining. It's draining, right? So, <laughs> so are you like quality time? That's your one. Do you have a secondary? Secondary is when it comes to business words of information. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, the first conversation we had on the beach. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that. It was quality time in business. What do you think mine is? I also think the same. Yeah. I am act of service. Really? Big time. Yeah. Ah. And my wife knows it. Great. So she is like the world's greatest human being. Um, 
But quality time used to be huge for me mm-hmm. until I spent almost all day on the phone mm. and I've forgot, I forgotten it. Yeah. yeah. But um, when I do put my phone away, yeah. I'll, it's yeah. the best. So yeah, I think I think for me, act of service. Yes. And it would be hard for you to know that unless like we were just chilling in like a home set. It's hard to know, isn't it, with that one. Um, I'll, give you an, I'll give you a great exercise to do, but for everyone tuning in, they should also do the same. When people are at your level especially, so... You want to find the people, like what their love language is. When people join, get them to fill in a five-minute Google form. Mm -hmm. So the questions are going to be, when you reach your first rank, what would you prefer? Then you go write gift. Um, Would you prefer uh, a gift? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go write words of affirmation. Would Would you prefer to be shouted out in front of everyone? And let's go. Physical touch is kind of tough to do, but yeah, H- hugging. would you? Yeah, <laughs> would, yeah, like literally, would you like everyone to hug and treat you like a rock star? Um, then there's obviously acts of service. Would you like us to celebrate you and mm-hmm. like cook you dinner? Quality time is. Would you like to sit down for half an hour? And so and then, then another one. If you were to, if you were to reach the top rank and mm-hmm. you had a thousand dollar budget, how would you like to spend it? Would you like a Louis Vuitton bag if you can still do that? Amazing. Right? right? And then like you go, would you like me to go, would you, would you want to go to the spa together? Shall we arrange a dinner with five of your leaders? Yes. And So there's lots of different options mm-hmm. because a lot of times, yes, reading the book, 100% agree. It's unbelievable yeah. book. It's such a great conversation as well. Um, but a lot of people just won't take the time to read it because they just don't think. Yeah. But everyone knows how to answer the questions on how they feel. Yeah. So I would I would recommend that. Even even things like, um, who's your favorite band? Let's say they say Coldplay, and you know that Coldplay are in town mm, and, and they've crushed it. Yeah. I'll buy four tickets to Coldplay, mm. please. Mm. And you surprise them. How did you know? Yeah. The Google form. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So it's a that's a really that's a really good thing to do, especially for those of you out there who are wanting to build those huge teams. Get it done now. Um, it's really, really cool, but you need to know the love languages first. Yeah. Um, and you need to figure out how you're going to be able to make it work. You're not going to be like, hey, when you recruit someone, I'll buy you a ticket to Barbados. Like, yeah. It's not going to be that. Exactly. Figure it out. Yeah. Exactly. So with the five by five, mm-hmm. I love it because the numbers are so, as you say, on a piece of paper, on a napkin, it's like five, 25, 125, 625, yeah. 3,000. Yeah. 20, I know the numbers in my, in my dreams. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, you just know it. But you have far surpassed those numbers yes because that totals less than four thousand you're nine times bigger than that Mm -hmm. so have you felt that by focusing on the five to get the five to get the five Mm -hmm. that people have actually driven down the lines quite fast as well yes yes because Mm -hmm. we start duplicating ourselves from the very first second of conversation with someone Mm -hmm. So if my approach to a prospect is salesy, mm-hmm. it will be salesy, of course. Yeah. So they, my point of view that leadership starts really from the very first beginning on uh, of a conversation with a prospect. And uh, mm-hmm. because my approach is business, my approach is clear, driven, people tend to duplicate also my behavior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if I'm on fire they will be on fire. If I'm on vacation, they're on vacation. So all the people in my downline crushing it because I'm still on it. They're like, oh, you're in Dubai and you're still um, bringing new people in your team and first mm-hmm. line, aren't you not relaxing? Why should I? I love my, I love my business. And if uh-huh. I want my people to really duplicate business and my behavior, I have to lead by example. Mm-hmm. Are you obsessed with the business? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But a healthy obsession though, right? It's, it's not he- like, I mean, I mean, my obsession is I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I've got to do this. And Svetlana's <laughs> like, go to sleep. I'm like, no, no, I've got to do this video. She's like, how have you got the energy? Because <laughs> you're obsessed, right? Yeah. But your obsession, do you believe your obsession has allowed you to sacrifice personal gain for team, like for team, ben- team benefit? Mm-hmm. Like if you, you could go and do something that you really want to do but you're so obsessed with helping the new partner or one of your leaders. Mm. Have you felt that that that's happened or are you obsessed more in a way where it's, I just, I'm obsessed with just doing my thing. I've got my things to do and I'm Mm. obsessed by becoming an executioner and finishing what I've written down. 
I'm obsessed by many things. I'm obsessed mm -hmm. by spending time with my family, by spending mm -hmm. ta quality time with myself, by spending time with different things mm -hmm. and on my business. And one thing that helped me was that on quarterly basis, depending on my goals I have, I set myself not only goals, I set myself three top priorities. Mm -hmm. Love that. One, two, three. And picking number one is hard because you have to choose between maybe between family mm -hmm. and business. It was a hard part for me to put my family and friends on number two, mm -hmm. even sometimes on number three, because I know I want this goal. I'm obsessed with this business, but it will not work if I put everything on top. Yeah, it yeah, will yeah. not work. Yeah. We all have just 24 hours. There's a quote saying, even Beyonce mm -hmm. has 24 hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, okay, if Beyonce is crushing it, I will crush yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so true. Yeah, so that's what, I, what I'm doing. So depending on my goals, every quarter I choose my top three priorities. And Sometimes I need to put friends and family quality time on number two or number three yeah. and putting business on number one. And what I do next mm -hmm. is I communicate with my family and friends mm -hmm. and telling them, dear mom and dad, mm -hmm. next three months I'm going to be very busy. I will be, I will be basically living out, my, out, out of a plane, out of my suitcase, traveling a lot, meeting my team, giving value to them. Mm -hmm. But... The next quarter would look different. Mm -hmm. And by communicating openly about my goals and priorities, it helped me a lot that people don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, no, you're just about business. Mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, in that, su summer, there is uh, more time for family. Yeah, that, that's, that's amazing. I think a lot of people, they, with their, like, in a relationship or on themselves, they say, I'm just going to commit the next three years to this business. Yeah. And it becomes everything. And then you do you do sacrifice friendships and, and family time, yeah. but also their partners and maybe, like, you said you were going to give it three years, now they're seven years in and they're still struggling. But I love that you break it down quarterly because yeah. you, could, you could do three months. Like, I mean, for example, in your business in particular, mm -hmm. October, November, December, mm -hmm. absolute beast mode, nothing else probably matters. As yeah. soon as Christmas Day hits then fam mm. family time, you know, and then January hit comes around. So you have like kind of like a week or two between like the Christmas, New mm. Year, then the hangover ends, bang, mm. let's get the year started. And then again, as you said, summertime is a little bit more slower, yeah. but I love that you do that. So this has been incredible. I, I, I've really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed this. Um, how do people, I'm going to guess that you own your name on social media. How do people find you? on social media sincerely marianna since of course <laughs> it's like it's such a pen love it's such a pen lovers because but, when you write a letter mm -hmm. and then you sign yeah, oh it God, with yeah. sincerely marianna <laughs> so it, and yeah. no dots or is it's there a, a dot? dot sincerely dot marianna sincerely dot marianna and marianna is m-a-r-i-j a-N-A. -A. Exactly. So they don't have to try and figure out how they do it. Mar Mar Markovic. <laughs> Markovic and Marianne. Marianne and Markovic. Okay. So a lot of people have got a lot of value. I know that. And guys, if you have, because I know you have, do me a massive favor. Take a screenshot of what you're seeing on your device right now uh, and then post it onto your Instagram stories. Tag me at Fraser Brooks Online and tag the incredible Mariana Markovic uh, by going at sincerely.mariana. You it will most likely come up if you type in sincerely dot, to be honest. It will it will most likely come up <laughs> because we're connected now. And if you type mine and then hers, the algorithm works wonderfully. Um, and just let her know what value you've got from this episode. Because I've got a ton of notes. I've absolutely loved this. I didn't realize how 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 much we have in common with the construction stuff Crazy. and getting started at 22 and lots of other things that you mentioned as well. What's something that you would recommend them to go and the guys tuning in to go and take action? Mm -hmm. Like what's like an assignment that you could give them? Yeah. I will tell the people listening mm -hmm. to this mm -hmm. um, podcast, mm -hmm. basically the same. I tell every mm -hmm. business partner who joins my team, mm -hmm. start talking first about mm -hmm. your business mm -hmm. And try people to understand your industry, network marketing. So use the five times five strategy. Mm -hmm. Second, then talk about the company and the products. And third, do a proper follow-up means 
ask questions, mm -hmm. ask questions, and I guarantee you, you will have mm -hmm. great success. Yeah, you absolutely will. And my little side assignment for them is to start writing <laughs> a to-do list. To-do list, yeah. and great priorities. Yeah, Top take three. a photo. So write a to-do list. You kind of, do you kind of do one of these? <laughs> yes. Do you, do, you do, do you make sure it's like perfect in the frame? <laughs> so it doesn't like a little, yeah. you know, make sure it's like perfect in the frame. You take a photo, yeah. you go onto Instagram, yeah. you post it. Yeah. I, yeah, because when you post it, it's like uh, you have to do it. You yeah, showed oh, yeah. it to the people. Oh yeah. How, are there many days where you don't complete the to-do list? Um, I'm not completing my to-do list every day. Right. What I started is to focus on the things I did mm -hmm. accomplish Good. and not on what's left. And uh, I just take the things that are left to the next day on mm -hmm. the next page. And if I see it's on the third day still not done, then it was not important. Yeah. And I, I completely agree with that. It's yeah. a great way to expose what's really important. Exactly. You're amazing. Thank I you. cannot wait to be able to do this again in a couple more years, maybe sooner. Uh, I know we'll be able to get some of your team as well because yes. they are flying. So mm -hmm. shout out to Dream Team, Dream Team, right? Yes. Shout out to the Unicorn Dream Team because <laughs> you guys are, you guys are unicorny. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for the invitation. I enjoyed it a lot. I love it. All right, guys. So if you got value from that episode, as I said, take a screenshot. Make sure that you share it onto your social media. And if you're able to comment somewhere around this video, go ahead and do so. Let us know what value you got. And also it'll help us be able to create more value around that stuff that'll help you grow. All right. So till next time, I'll see you soon.